Hello everybody, this is the Cat Best Games, and welcome back to Crossing 101. Today we'll be looking at how to armor the Jawbreaker cabin on more or less endgame builds. The Jawbreaker is a heavy uh, class cabin, which is moderate to slow speed. It has a 7000 tonnage weight, a 14000 mass limit. It has 11 energy points, 225 points of structure, and 2550 kilograms of mass. If I see a guy uh, using a rig like this, I often see something like this. This is just a very, very basic setup, just to see where you would pl uh, where players would place the cabin. Most players would put it right at the front. And I'm gonna immediately say this is not a good idea for something with an explosive weapon. I mean, this thing can easily be one shot by, for example, a Dolorin rocket. Even if it has like 1500 health, it can still be one shot by the clarinet though, because there's no armor whatsoever at the front. Instead, I should just starting out with a 6x4 uh, to 8x4 frames and another 6x4. Again, of course, uh, you can, just like the past uh, episode for something, you can use two 4x4s for the 8x4 and a 4x4 and a 2x4 for the 6x4. Next up is wheels, but these ones are the rare. This I always use medium class wheels, so you can use almost any uh, rare wheels except for I think the large wheels. Those are the only ones that are larger. For the actual fenders, use some right here, as well as the two apparent front. Which this is all you need. Uh, for the cabin placement. I would place it right around here, just two blocks at the just at the end of the frame, two blocks behind before the fender ends. After that, you can use a four piece some piece of armor at the front, which will immediately protect the entire cabin except for this little fi five high little part. As you can see that. And in my case, I will place some narrow wings in the side right here to armor up the sides. And for the wear, I will use some. Um, uh, sorry, I can't find it for a moment. It's a pair of fan windows. As well as some simple, some more. I mean, here having a small hole right there is not really that much of an issue. But I will, I guess, I can close it up with something an easier slope. And to the front again, I will fill up the lower part of the section using two rear doors. Then take some half walls right here and some white slopes to cover up the front. Then for the entire front section I will use a um not a pull bar a train plow which has extra protection as four hundred and sixteen structure for three hundred power score. This body it's alone is already two point eight uh thousand power score. And it's not even done. I will actually add a, another set of Slope right here. Actually, I think I need. Yeah, I need one forward. So I can place another pair of armor right there. The entire front now is covered up. Yeah, you can place guns on the top right here. Also, if you want to place a uh, module, I suggest doing it like this. Yes, your build will be asymmetrical. But it, you can at least use an 8x4 frame. In my case, I'll place a gas generator right here. Right. I don't know where I place it now. There it is. So now I have 14 points of energy, which is sufficient to build pretty much any build I want. Ranging from a triple machine gun build, where I place two of them right here, 
and one of them in the front section. Although in this case I will have to replace these with something like a white slow with Avia because those mount the gun on top, as you can see here, four points instead of two points right here. Which does make it being connected to four parts itself it makes it harder to shoot it off. This is um, ex this actually provides excellent firepower at, for this tier. Just now is the power score. And in the rear, I could replace something like those with my cooler. And the other side, I will choose to replace it for a radar detector. Right now, it did enter the little bit of gray zone of armor. It's getting really happy. So yeah, it is not the fastest build, uh, but it is very, very powerful. I mean, this thing is almost 2,000 health. Uh, its firepower is pretty amazing. Its armor here at the front, you can see how much armor it is at the front. Now, it actually takes pretty long for it to get shot off. It is especially effective against high explosive style weapons because it will simply just chunk away at it and it only needs so many shots to destroy this actually. It becomes almost useless. The uh I mean the weapons I mean become almost useless. Not this armor. You can also decide to put up a engine in the front. I will actually put it although I will put it Asia Medical because that's actually more effective. You can use a two, uh, three little, uh, like two, I mean, si uh, f side boards right there, and then a long pipe shield right at the front. I will remove this one into trade in for the energy. Place an armor part instead. But with this, after placing some of these parts in order to cover up the armor. Again, you got it. You got something really, really sturdy. Again, you can mount the gun oh, in the front right here, but I actually suggest mounting it on a um, grill, which I oh, a grill place right here. Mount it like this. It can. It will block off the machine gun, the one of the rear machine guns, a little bit. So if you're firing at this angle. But now you do not have to worry about the mass anymore and you can just drive around rather fast. The jawbreaker is actually pretty fast if you think that it's such a happy cabin. And the protection this thing has, especially with that, just being able to carry this much armor towards the, uh, the front is actually pretty handy because you're actually a not a main battle class, but if you're more like a meat shield slash support class. You need to be actually you need to be at that front line actually, yes. But you're not the one that is the main brawler. But you're more the guy that tries to distract everybody and have and has everybody shoot at him. And protect your allies with that. Other weapons you can use for this kind of build. In my case I will just fill this back up. Again, these rear doors. Place these power parts and place these. And then some white, white slopes. Other armaments are stuff like uh, crickets, actually. Can be used a good, pretty good weapon. Although, if you want to use crickets, I suggest arming around them. In that case, you will need something else in these wing. You need to place these wings upside down, like so. They will not no longer connect to this part, but that's not really a problem. Then place some parts right here, and get yourself the frame setup like this. This can these uh, sh parts will protect the actual guns a little bit. If you want to go full on protection, I 
would actually put a few uh, blades like this. You might think, why would you place blades right here? Because if you actually happen to hit, you can still fire apart, it's no problem. But if an enemy would hit those, blades with high explosive if it, they, uh, normally if they would hit that they would hit the top armor and probably destroy the crickets however with these armor parts as you can see a five fully cricket fire and the cricket survived now if you remove these the crickets will die for sure I'll try to do it again Here you can see, firing. You can see both crickets are gone. Well, I think just those three parts right here will make the actual entire armor that survive. Other examples for weapon combinations. In my case, there are only uh, 57s, but uh, you can. I would use 88s for this case, using two large cannons up top. Those do not really need armor. Because you will be a long range sniper and it will probably hit your main body. Having that small skirt of armor on top is not really needed. I strongly discourage people from using Avengers in this tier because, I mean, having 4600 power score with a two weapons that are almost useless at the tier means that you're just gonna be a break of armor that's going to be shot at until you die and you will not get any points because actually right as of now you do not earn any points for actually taking damage which is actually downside if you would be able to earn at least a little bit of experience from that you would actually be uh, able to do a tank build and have people protect you like that uh, uh, sorry protect people like that uh, shotguns are, are not really advised wait a second now pop the guide unit right here uh, sh machine guns are pretty useful shotguns not advised uh, auto cannons are actually pretty nice usage uh, whirlwind if you want to put a whirlwind on these I actually suggest just putting one on the back right here yeah I'll take two if you Sorry, I'll take a two card jacks as an example where you how to armor around it. Just literally just simply put some armor skirts like this and you should be good. Well for the frontal one. Take off the frontal armor. One layer. Place it inside there and armor around it like this. For turret cannons, I would simply remove this platform and put a cannon right here and put a cannon right there. For like fat mans. Uh, mini guns aren't really that great either for this because they're more short range than the machine guns, so I would stick the machine guns then. Grenade launchers can be pretty good for this, but mm, not really amazing either. Pyres, well, for if you're gonna use missile launchers like that you don't really di need this much of armor you can better take something lighter and quicker so you can escape from enemies trying to attack you instead of just using your armor spears and me active melee weapons are even less useful because of course you're extremely slow build and well for these ones you're not really gonna you can use the scorpions which are pretty effective for something like this, because they're long range sniper weapons, porcupines or firebugs are for pretty short range weapons, so I wouldn't use those on this something like this. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. This was the Capus Games, and see you guys all next time. See ya.